from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, August the 24th, 2023. Israel's security agency, the Shin Bet, said four Arab Israelis were arrested for smuggling weapons, including Iranian-made explosives, into Israel for Hezbollah, recruited by the Iranian-backed Lebanese-based terror group. The Shin Bet was cited by the Times of Israel saying that its investigation revealed that Hezbollah worked to recruit and operate an infrastructure of smugglers in Israel for the purpose of distributing unusual illegal weapons to various parties, including criminal elements. A Moscow court has extended the detention of Jewish Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich. Gershkovich, the American-born son of Russian Jewish immigrants, was arrested in Russia during a reporting trip back in March of this year on espionage charges, charges staunchly denied by the United States. His pretrial detention now extended for another three months. In a statement, the journal said of the court's decision, we are deeply disappointed. He continues to be arbitrarily and wrongfully detained for doing his job as a journalist. The baseless accusations against him are categorically false, and we continue to push for his immediate release. Journalism, they said, is not a crime. Adding that Gershkovich's lawyers will appeal. Yesterday, Gershkovich's Wall Street Journal colleagues posted a bring him home message. Evan is curious. Evan is exceptional. Empathic. Brave. Dedicated. Lovely. Courageous. A superstar. Evan is gregarious. Inspiring. Talented. Reliable. Generous. Funny. Driven. Passionate. Crucial. Evan Gershkovich is an American journalist. Wrongly detained in Russia. We need to bring him home. Bring him home. Bring him home. Bring him home. I stand with Evan. I stand with Evan. I stand with Evan. I stand with Evan. A State Department spokesperson was cited after the court's decision saying the claims against Evan Gershkovich are baseless. Once again, we call for Russia to immediately release Evan and also to release wrongfully detained U.S. citizen Paul Whelan. A new initiative is giving young religious women who serve in the IDF support during their time there. Ynet reports Ma'aminot Bemadim, which translates as Believers in Uniform, was launched by Modern Orthodox Yeshiva or Torah Stone to provide advice and guidance on spiritual, religious, and practical matters to young women serving in the IDF. It runs in cooperation with the IDF Social Security Division and religious authorities. Ortora Stone President and Rosh Yeshiva Rabbi Dr. Kenneth Brander said this center was established to enable the optimal combination between religious women's contribution to the security of the state while maintaining their faith and religious way of life. The first official Muslim delegation visited Brazil's Holocaust Museum, led by Ariel Kroc, a member of the World Jewish Congress's Jewish Diplomatic Corps. Together with the head of Brazil's Turkish community, Mustafa Gaktepi, and Rabbi Toiv Whiteman, the memorial's managing director. The World Jewish Congress calling the visit more than a guided tour. It is a powerful gesture of solidarity and a step towards fostering a society in which different faiths can learn from each other's histories and stand united against hate and intolerance. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Thursday, August the 24th. At 7 o'clock, it's Talmud study. At 7.30, we hear from progressive Zionists. At 8, we hear from the leaders of Standing Together a grassroots movement of Jews and Palestinians working together for social justice and peace in Israel. At 9, Bernard-Henri Levy is on L'Chaim. At 10, a discussion on whether faith unites us or divides us. And coming up next, I speak with the deputy mayor of Jerusalem, Fleur Hassan Nahum, about Femme Forward Mina, an initiative promoting gender equality in the high-tech industry for women in Israel and Abraham Accords countries. And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, August the 24th, 2023. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.